Hi, welcome to 100% LCFC TV. I'm here with Dan the Statman again. Hi, Dan. How Good to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. It's good good to be back on. We've had a couple of weeks off, haven't we? So it's good to be I back. Know it's, it's been a bit of a break. Nobody likes a break like that, do we? No, 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 we don't. But uh, it seems a while ago. We're going to talk mostly in this video about the Norwich game and some pre-match stats. But let's yep. just quickly reflect back on the Arsenal game, which seems like an age ago. But you've got some interesting stats for us, just briefly on that. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, we, we, we did lose 2-1, um, typical to Danny Welbeck. But um, I'll focus on, on the penalty that Jamie Vardy won, actually. Um, we've won 10 penalties this season, which is double the amount of any other Premier League side. Um, yes. And obviously, yeah, and we unfortunately, um, we have he has won six penalties this season for Vardy. Obviously, we would have liked a few more, yeah. um, but he's been... Shows how much of a terrier he has been um, inside the final third, really. Um, so that's that was quite a good. That's thing quite an interesting us. stat. So we've got ten penalties compared to that's the most. Yeah. In the Premier yeah. League by by a little way. Vardy said he looks by... like he's he's learned how to win a penalty, doesn't he? <laughs> he loves nipping in behind the defence. Um, but focusing on on the game as a whole, away from the penalty, uh, we still haven't won at Arsenal since November 1994. Um, so that's 19 games we've played then. We still haven't won and we've lost 13. So it was one of those games that going into it, it wasn't yeah. great on paper. Yeah, we, I think most of us know we never win at the Arsenal. So it was a shame. <laughs> it, was, it was nearly a, a very well-earned draw, wasn't it? Oh, 100%. We, we deserved at least a point out of that. But we switched off, didn't we? And obviously you switch off in the Premier League. That's it. What was Big Wazza thinking in that dying seconds, running out like a, a gladiator? <laughs> well, weirdly, I called it when he came on. I said, you watch, Vaz. Yeah. This is going to give a free kick away, and it just so happened that he did. <laughs> anyway, moving on to Norwich, where, let's face it, a st before you even give us some stats, we were, we're all fancying a win. So, back it up with some stats, Dan, hopefully. Yeah, um, well, we are averaging 1.61 um, points a game at Leicester City um, yeah. against Norwich. Um, so, it's quite a good thing. We've won 10 out of 23 um, when we've played them at home. But they've won six as well, so it's it's one of those that could go either way, yes, really. It's quite even. Yeah, um, and on paper, I think the Norwich game might actually be harder than the Arsenal game. We know what Norwich will do. Um, they'll sit back, soak up the pressure. They've got nothing yeah. to lose, fighting for their lives, and they'll probably hit us on the break. It'd be a carbon copy of, of what we do to most teams, really. Yeah. Um, so I think it'd be a lot harder to score. It will be interesting because, like you say, just like we were last year, they'll be scrapping for every point. If they could come to Leicester, stifle the game, do nothing but just park the bus, you know, and and, and get a, a draw. That's what they'll. That's their game plan, isn't it? Whereas our game plan, we're now the fancy team. We've got to try and come out and win it. We've got to we've got to entice them onto us, haven't we? Well, that that's what it's all about. And I think we've got to play our own style of football. Um, and ever since we we first started playing Norwich, we've both scored sixty five goals at um at home at Leicester. So we both average the same sort of goals at the KP or, or back at um, Wilbur Street and things like that. So it's one of those that can go either way. But I, I still fancy us to pick up a 2-0 win. But it's one of those that if we concede early on, it can go either way. Yeah, I guess and it's amazing how quick the mood of the, the fans is. The expectation level's gone from sort of, you know, let's just stay in the Premier League. We'd have took that this time last year, which we did. But suddenly it's like, come on. But I think, I think we do have a chance. I mean, we've got Norwich coming up. Really could and should be three points. West Brom on Tuesday. Again, we'll we'll try and slot in a quick video with you yep. after the Norwich game with some stats and pre West Brom. So you know it should be six points, shouldn't it? Fingers crossed. It, it on paper it should be. I think Norwich, like we said, haven't been really firing this season under a lot of pressure. West Brom themselves struggling under Tony Pulis, not scoring enough goals, conceding too many. I think we can exploit both defences, but it's about making sure that we're, we stay positive and focus on our own games and, and try not to rush rush things, because obviously these teams will set up to defend. And our style of play, play which is tough, 30-40% of the play, let, let the other teams have it. It's going to be interesting to see how the fans at the King Power react if we play that way again against Norwich and letting them have most of the ball so that we can do our counter-attacking style. I think it'll actually be the flip of that. I think we all have more of the ball. Just being the home side, naturally, I think you'll have more of the ball um, but it depends on what sort of Norwich team comes out. If they're coming to attack us, then yeah, they may have 60% of the ball, but it's about what we do with the ball. And we've shown time and time again that we can have 30% possession and we can come out winners. So it's about when we get the chances, you know, Vardy, Okazaki, Morris, whoever it may be, when we get the chances, just put the ball in the back of the net just for the sake of the City fans. Cause we... Right, I've just... 
Yeah, so I mean, like you say, Dan, it, it is going to be an interesting game. You're predicting 2-0. Yep. I'm confident with you. I'm thinking we're going to get 2 or 3. Yeah. But it is going to be an interesting one to see how the state of it. So, Dan, thanks a lot for joining us today. We'll see you between the uh, Norwich games and West Brom games for some more stats. You will indeed, yeah. Thank you for having me on again. Thanks, Dan. Catch you soon. Cheers. Cheers, bye.